In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a mail merge in Microsoft Word 2010 so you can create labels from addresses that you have set up in Excel. So first thing you're going to want to do is make sure all of your addresses are entered correctly in Excel and that you have a header line and that's where you include first name, last name, address, city, state, zip, and any other pertinent information you may want on there. And name them however is going to work for you. Maybe F name is confusing to you and you want first name. Whatever works for you is what you should do. So then you're going to want to open up a new Word document and we're going to go over to the mailings tab. So then click on the arrow part of uh, start mail merge and let's do the wizard. The wizard is the easiest way to do this and the, the way you can make the least mistakes in my opinion. So what type of document are you working on? We are working on envelope or not envelopes, labels. So, uh, and it gives a, dis a description of what each uh, what each thing does. So next, the starting document. So we want to uh, change document layout, and then you'll want to click on the label options uh, button there. And um, mine is already set up to go to 5160. That's a very common Avery address label size. Uh, so if you need to change it, you can just click on any of these and just start typing it in. Maybe it's 5260. So whatever it is for you, type it in and then click OK. And so it gives a basic layout of what it's going to look like. So then the next step is to select the recipient. So go ahead and click on that. And we want to use an existing list. So, okay, which list do we want to use? So click on the Browse link, and we're going to find addresses for labels, because you've already saved the file, it's all set to go. So click on Open, and it's going to want you to choose the sheet. So I uh, made it easy for myself, and I deleted all the other sheets. So I'm going to, and then uh, one thing to note down here is it says the first row of data contains column headers. And that's what you set up with first name, last name, and so on. And so that box is checked because that's how it's set up. So then click on OK. And now it's going to bring in all of your addresses. So you can kind of make sure that everything makes sense, that uh, first name, last name, and if you need to adjust them, just click and drag. So click with the left button, drag, and drop. And if you want to sort them, you can also do that or find duplicates. Whatever you want to do, here's your chance to do it, just to make sure that everything is clean, because you don't want to send it to the same person twice. So let's go ahead, or you can validate addresses too in case um, you want to make sure that these are real addresses. And you might need an extra service for that. Um, it's not something that I use all that often. So I'm going to click OK. And that's good to go. So now next, arrange your labels. So click Next. And so how do we want to do this? We would like an address block. And that's the standard um, addresses that you will find on labels. So go ahead and click address block. And this will allow you to choose different layouts of how you want your addresses to show up. And they have examples here. And you can play around with it. Uh, do you want just the first name? Do you want first name, last name? You know, what all? What what do you want on there? And if the first one doesn't give you a good example, you can look at other ones as well. And just make sure that everything looks good. And if there are issues, maybe the information isn't adding up right, you can click Match Fields. And just to make sure, so first name, F name, last name, L name, suffix, we don't have that, company, we don't have that address one and we only have one address but maybe if you had address two a suite or uh, some other information you'd have that here 
and just so on and uh, down the list and go ahead and click OK if everything's correct and then we're going to click OK and so as you can see it has address block and then next record next record and so on um, and we want to update all labels so it's address block next record with the address block okay so next we want to preview our labels and there we go there are our labels and then once you're done complete the merge and then you can print how, what do you want to print? You want to print them all, don't you? So that is how you do a mail merge to create labels in Word from a spreadsheet in Excel. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more helpful tutorials. Check out my blog at sallyu.com and have a great day. Thanks for tuning in.